Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at this awesome website that I'm actually trying to get partnered by. Full Trade Media. Right there, you should check them out. Um, but anyway, um, this is how you do it. So, see, I have it. King of the Skies, all that stuff. Like in my recent videos, I've been having uh, thumbnails. Okay. Uh, for most of them, yeah. But um, really, sometimes, well, my way, when you look on the videos, it doesn't really show up. But um, let's just say I'm just going to click on this one right here. Happy Wheels, Guts, and Glory. Uh, when you click down. And you Yo, what's Alex? Right, and I'm back again. Oh, hold on, let me pause this. It um, shows the, 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 the correct thumbnail of the one that I made. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to Video Manager. And then... um. Uh, I'll just show you with this one first, and then um, I'll show you with the rest of them. See, uh, these my thumbnail that I have isn't available anymore. Why? Because uh, with the new YouTube thing, there's like a trim tool, so you can trim your videos after you upload them. So really, all I do is uh, quick fix is it quick fixes? Yes, trim, right. And then it saves your old. Yo, what's so Alex I and trim uh, the Mary video to trim out the actual thumbnail. So I actually put about five minutes of thumbnail, depending on how long the video is, because you want it to show up as the middle and last thumbnail, so it automatically is set that way. Let it sit there for a day or two. That is just my technique. I know I, my my other friend that I taught this technique to only waits an hour or so I just want to make sure that my thumbnail stays there permanently so um, I'm just gonna um, show you guys on one of my videos that um that I've been sitting there for a little bit of time and um, happy was oh snap Ugh. yo what's Edit Alex video. and I'm back again I don't think I've edited this one yet and um, I'm just gonna trim it on up to uh, make it the right size and still have the thumbnail so it's kind of like a way to get past the YouTube system and um, not have to be a partner, which I really think is awesome because that's really the only reason why uh, I really want to be a partner. Well, a few other things, but still, I just really like to have custom thumbnails. And um, I have Photoshop CS5. It, oh, by the way, it does take a little bit of time to do it, but it's not that long. But I do have Photoshop CS5, but... um. A nice website to try is pixlr.com and um, that's a free photo editor and um, it works just it doesn't work as good as Photoshop but if you want to do a little simple easy not so complex um, thumbnail you you should be straight um, I hope you guys learned from this video enjoy this video uh, do me a favor and click subscribe comment on this video give it a like by thumbsing it up and um share it with your friends thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope i can upload more soon uh votre media check them out they're great i hope they partner me and um yeah bye thanks for